I think when it comes to network attached storage in the last 12 months, there's been one big thing, and that is the mobility of NAS. We always take for granted that network attached storage solutions can be accessed remotely over the internet and over the network, of course, but there is definitely a ground 10 trend for content creators, for video and photo editors and production, where when you're traveling to the other side of the world, that although you do have a lot of data you can back up to the cloud or another NAS, the weight of that data, the terabytes, the gigabytes, the whatever, are heavily limited by internet service providers and the upload and the download. And although you can send that data remotely, the time it takes to do it is often very, very poor. So mobile NAS devices have been growing in popularity and we've talked about several on the channel. This is the latest product and prototype that we can see here coming out of CES. Coming closer, Katie, coming closer. This is the Pocket Cloud. It's coming to crowdfunding uh, in March 2025. Yes, we talked about a lot of crowdfunded NAS solutions, a lot of brands utilizing it as a marketing and promotions platform, but this is a ready-to-go solution. It's a real solution here. Now, this is the NAS that you keep there in your bag, your pocket. Um, if back up, Katie, we'll go there. So with this that you're carrying in your bag, from that, you're able to connect your tablet. You can connect your mobile phones. If you're using cameras, of course, you can utilize multiple SD card slots there and you have a USB connection there for backing up individual USB drives on USB-C and USB-A. The system has a one-touch copy functionality in there and a native and completely controllable panel there on the front to manage manually or automatically those backups when you need them. Now, the storage drive that's inside you can get your own. It takes advantage of M.2 NVMe storage inside. So that means up to eight terabytes of 2280 length SSDs going inside. It also has a 6,400 milliamp battery as well. So it's gonna last, I would say six to eight hours. The brand wasn't able to completely confirm that at this time. Now with this, you get a docking station. The docking station also has storage there. So when you do come back from that big shoot, that big project, you come back, you take your device, you slot it in the dock. Now the docking station, it beeps when it's in there, you probably heard that. The docking station has USB power going into it, but on top of that, you've got an ethernet port there. Now this docking station arrives with USB power and that is direct, there's no additional PSU required, but on top of that, it's got either a one gig or 2.5 gig ethernet port there on the rear. We're just getting that found out. This is still a prototype product going through development. Now, notwithstanding the internal storage, the M.2 NVMe that's built into the base here, that you're gonna be offloading the storage that you're taking on the go. But on top of that, this does synchronize with cloud storage as as well as well as Samba slash SMB to synchronize this device with a NAS device in your local in, uh, network environment. So this acts in unison with your existing network attached storage device to create that more portable seamless data flow when you're out and about. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to dismantle the unit on the stand for obvious reasons as it's a prototype, but going by their own designs here, we've got the M2 NVMe slot with active cooling built in here in the background and a removable battery, that's very key. They made it clear you can have separate batteries that you can utilize and swap between when you are utilizing the device on the go. Just a quick update here. I got back to the UK and found out some more information about this brand before I put this video out. So I wanted to include it in the edit. Number one, the CPU inside the main NAS, that little portable unit is a four core ARM A55 processor there. So again, we weren't really expecting any kind of x86 CPU. Alongside that, there's two gig of memory that can't be expanded. Now, the uh, actual NAS unit itself also has wireless connectivity there. So no, we kind of thought, but I, I was looking for confirmation on the architecture of that Wi-Fi. I thought maybe it was 6E, but it's 6. And the battery inside is reported at lasting 12 hours there. And again, that seems to be two 3400 milliamp batteries, even though I was told 6400 on stand. So not so sure there. We'll look into that. And finally, the data transmission there. They were saying it reported speeds of up to 800 megabytes per second, but the brand also supplied, uh, provided some specific details there uh, with regards to the dock SSD with transfer speeds between them. Apparently, it was achieving 
around about 245, uh, lowest at 227 there, going up as high as 270. And with a connected USB drive to the dock, it was looking like as low as 219, up to a max 269 megabytes per second. Obviously, these are the transfer speeds between the dock and the unit and the USB and the dock. But I just wanted to kind of highlight there. I'm oh, sorry if I sound croaky, I've just got off a 10 hour flight and I'll be straight with you, what I need is sleep. But back to the video. Now the big question with something like this is of course security and remote access. Something like this, when you've got it set up, your studio, your home environment, perhaps you're going to want to access it remotely from overseas because that is where your data may be residing as a primary backup outlet. Unfortunately, we're not able to confirm at this time with the brand about remote access. We can see a domain here in the background, nas.stationpc.com, but no real confirmation on encrypted remote access, whether using a relay service there. So I can't really confirm anything on that time. At the very least, there's an ethernet or network appliance. There's a lot to be said for it. Again, they've made it clear this is still a prototype in progress right now. We've already looked at it, doing some backups, doing what it does, and it does seem to do that. I think a lot of it's gonna come down to the price point and just how much they can promise a solution like this can provide during that crowdfunding. Again, we're talking about crowdfunding. We're not talking about traditional retail, but nonetheless, at least based on what I'm seeing here, I can imagine a lot of photo and video editing um, users looking at a simplified solution like this to just get the job done. And remember, it's got a large battery powered supply in there and you have got the option for optional batteries. You've got the option for your own storage drives. So to a more simplified setup, I can definitely see appeal for something like this. But again, the proof is in the pudding. Hopefully we'll get hold of one of these in time for review before it goes out on crowdfunding or we'll find out more about it during that process. But for now, this is Robbie. We're gonna carry on with CES here. I do recommend you check out the stand here. This is the Pocket Cloud with Firefly. Apart from that, have yourselves a fantastic day.